Okay, so this will be a tutorial over Lab 1, and throughout this video I apologize for any bad audio. The app that I'm using doesn't really like to record while I'm using ArcGIS Pro, and I tried some other things and nothing seems to be working besides this to some degree. So we're going to go ahead and continue on here. And so you're going to go ahead and open up ArcGIS Pro, create a new um, project, and once you get in there, you go ahead and open up a new map. Then you're going to change the base map to whatever you want. I prefer imagery with labels. And now we'll just use the locate item to find Manhattan. Manhattan, Kansas. We'll go ahead and zoom there. Oh, I forgot to mention I only have 15 minutes to make this video before it cuts me off. So this might be kind of kind of quick. So once we get there, we're going to go ahead and make our field boundary. Um, we'll right click on this, go to new, feature class, and the field, field boundary with no spaces. And click next, next. We're going to select our geo coordinate system. I don't know why I want to click on geographic coordinate system. Go down to world. And we're going to select WGS 1984 with nothing behind it. And you can add this favorites if you want to. After you do this, you can click finish. And normally it would add it over here, but Arc Pro 2.2 does not do that. So you have to manually come in here. And you can either drag it over or you can right click. And it'll go ahead and add it in there. So once we add it in there, we can click here. We'll change the outline of it. To a black outline we can exit out of this now and we go up here to edit we're going to create and we click on our field boundary choose the polygon tool and for this particular field we'll be located kind of in this area these two terraces i'll go ahead and draw it out i'm gonna do this really fast because i have limited time to get this video done so i'll just buzz through this Then you can skip the top terrace. Um, this is a wheat field from 2018. And once you're done, you double click. Now go ahead and close everything off. You push save, save all edits. And then you can you click to clear. And push the escape tab. And I know some people have trouble with this. You know, where did my field boundary go? Well, guess what? Your world imagery is basically trumping it. So you can bring it down below, and there we go. There's our field boundary. So to bring in Sergo data, you will Google. Let's get a Chrome here. And just download or just search for Sergo downloader two S's. Click on that. Then you can click on View Application. And this is where you're going to find. All your Sergo data. So you'll go over to Manhattan. You can search for Manhattan. Sometimes that's easier. I just happen to know exactly where it's at. So there's Manhattan. You can click on the gray area. It's the farm is like right in this area. And then you're going to click download lower big blue. I already have this downloaded, so we'll quick run back. And for this, we're going to go to insert. We're going to import a new map. And hopefully it gets there. Okay, so there's my lower big blue, my map package. You might have to go around. It's probably in your downloads. I might have this actually in a folder. So once you get it, push OK. So it's important as a different layer. So we need to get it back over onto our, in this particular case, map three. Yours is probably just labeled map because it's like my third time trying to do this video. So you're going to right click. You're going to go to data, export features, and this is going to, we're going to export it over to this map. And basically what we're going to do is put it right below our field boundary. So you can leave this same input features. You want to change this and go into your data right there. There's your field boundary. Don't save it to your field boundary, but rather create another um, 
file like ergo that works great. Go ahead and save it. Click run. Okay, it should have done something there. We can go to map three. And when you click that on your database, you will see your Sergo data is right there. So right click, we're gonna add it to our map. And you see it overlaps pretty much everything. So we need to clip this. So if you didn't have your geoprocessing pins aside, you can go up to um, analysis, click tools, and geoprocessing will show up. In this case, I have a clip um, to the side. So for this process, we're gonna type in clip. And then we're gonna use analysis since this is um, a map. So if you had satellite imagery or something of that sort, you'd use data management. But in this case, we're gonna use analysis. Click on that, and that. Input features, we are going to clip our Sergo data to our field boundaries. That's what that pretty much stands for. We'll go ahead and run that. And it doesn't really look like it did hardly anything. But if we unhighlight our massive Sergo data that we just downloaded, we can see it is clipped there. And we need to display this a little bit nicer so we can come in here and right click and then go to symbology change this to unique values um, and it's always going to have this all other values you can go ahead and click on that and you can right click and it allows you to remove it and go ahead and do that we're going to go ahead and add in what we want so we'll add in our map name and we'll change the symbology up change to something interesting so there we go. There's all our different soil types. Looks like we barely had one up in the corner. So we have that there. If we're wanting to display um, the actual names on this map right here, we can come up to labeling and click label. And I'll go ahead and put in all that information where all those um, different soils are at. So now we're ready to create a PDF format. So for this, we want to go to insert new layout and we're just like lay letter eight and a half by eleven so there's our layout we want to add a frame so in this case all the data i just put in there is on map three so when i come in here i'll click the down and i'll find a map three which is way down here and just click default yours will probably just be map and i'll probably be right up at the top but since i've done this a lot it's like way down far below so we can right click onto whatever we clipped or field boundary, it's like zoom to layer. It'll go ahead and bring us in there. And there we go. And we have it all there. So in order to create a PDF, well, I don't have it up here really right now, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna add text. And there is um, a proper way to do this. It's in lab one, you can go click on that PDF. But in this case, with my limited time, I'm just gonna keep on cruising without showing you guys it. And we'll just change the format. This is pretty much like Word right here. And what you're probably gonna put in, I believe it's name, so your name. Location will be North Farm. Okay, and then down below, we're gonna want what we're actually displaying, so. Sergo data, and we have a sensor, I believe, is what I put here, but we don't really have a sensor here. And you can go ahead and we need a date on there, so just put in today's date for this. And it'll just make a nice. There we go. So we can go ahead and center this dude, and we can link him up right here. So it should look something like that. Probably a little bit more professional. Actually, put your name here. I just wrote name. We'll go ahead and import what we need for this map. Or insert, I should say. We need a north arrow. You can select whatever arrow you want, as long as it kind of makes sense. Don't go too crazy. And we're going to need a legend. Actually, let's put our scale bar in first. You can see I just clicked on it. It's in um, metric. So most guys are not going to want that. So we'll go ahead and change this over to miles. And we can drag it down here, post it up. 
And for our last thing that we want to do, insert a legend. So instead of clicking and just adding in, go ahead and draw where you want the legend at. And you'll notice we have a lot of stuff that we really don't need for this. So if you right click and you go to properties, you go to show properties, and go ahead and get rid of these top two. Um, in fact, you can get rid of this heading right here and you can rename it to something else. So we'll go back here. So this is where the title is that you push show. And just write in whatever you want to do, you know. Soils, data, you know, server data, whatever you want to put in there. Click apply. So it all looks good besides we don't need to have this field boundary in here. So if we come over to our legend, we can pretty much select whatever we want in there. We can unhide the field boundary. And it'll look just like that. So I'll zoom out here. So the format should look something like that, but definitely double check on the PDF online because I could have missed something. But I think I pretty much have everything here. So hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. I apologize again for any of the audio issue. But if you have any suggestions on different ways to screen video your computer, just let me know. And yeah, you guys have a great day.